guys, I'm Kelsey. This is Dixie. And that's Shane behind the camera. Hi. And we're Love Hut for Life. Today we're here with uh, Kenny Faust. And uh, we may have just found someone who uh, is cooler than the Love Hut. Oh, for sure. Admit, yeah, like, <laughs> may have is the wrong term. No, like, it's yep. an awesome house, guys. You have to check this out. What you said was someone, maybe not, not someone, maybe something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clearly not cool, so. That's uh, I think you're pretty cool, Kenny. Uh, yeah, I'm just sort of a, you know, it was a nerd about building this thing. I mean, like you guys, I could probably spend a week without talking to even, you know, yeah. anybody but the lady at the lumber yard or the next door neighbor and just be obsess over the project so that's kind of the obsessive compulsive thing right. was go was it was on a complete roll during the build as you guys probably did the same thing, right? the lady at the hardware store became my best friend uh, yeah. <laughs> as you did probably said the schoolie palooza and it has been a wonderful event and i've seen so much great work out here and i can't wait to get down i'll probably follow you home tonight and see or this afternoon find out what you guys have done <laughs> on your construction project so yeah for be sure. looking forward to that i love that about these events is that we all get to network yeah. and see what each other has and so so i'm sitting here kind of at the entrance exit and i've developed this idea that i'm going to sit here and i'm going to take pictures of all the buses when they drive by we've been doing whether i need to or not that's awesome <laughs> you're going to have so many by the end of this I know. So how long did it take you to do your build well Originally, I built the box on a trailer, and I spent two months really solidly building just this styrofoam box here, and that was without the deck, and it was it was a pull-behind trailer, and I had a hitch, and, and so that was two months of, you know, when you say two months, seven-day weeks and 10-hour day kind of. Yeah. Months. And then I bought the RV last, the July before last, and I spent um, at least three months just putting it together where it was functional and ready to drive, and then there's another month of finishing touches, and then there's months, you know, just, I can fiddle around with it every day, for, yeah. know, hours of stuff that you'll never see, right? I say this wondering if I should, but basically it's my baby because it took at least nine months huh? to, con yeah. to conceive and, and bring into this world the hard way. For sure. We all, we all put a lot of love into it, right? Love, <laughs> sweat, tear, blood, whatever you can put into the thing, right? It's Definitely. Like you put everything you got into it and maybe a lot of things you don't. Right. I put a lot of stuff I got into it and as we talk about the tour, you'll find out that these are, you know, I couldn't do it again because I don't have the same stuff anymore, right? I can still build the box, but... The parts and pieces are things that were around my house for the most part and had already right. done. So the um, how little we spend on ours is kind of like a pride point for us. Mm -hmm. is, is it okay if I ask you yeah. how much you spent? And you mentioned it, uh, kind of what, how much did you spend? Ours was 4000 All right. All right. Yeah. Now, does that include the truck? That does, that does not, not include, include the truck. The truck. So, so it's, uh, it's like a $22,000 truck. But yeah. That is our a, build, our solar right, panels, right, course, our batteries, nice our mattress, every right, every piece of and part. Yeah, see, I already had the mattress, I already had the box, I already had this, I already had that. Bought stuff on sale. And, yeah. And, the, and the, the van, the RV itself, was ready to, it was 76 and it was $1,500. Everything I put onto it that I didn't already own or was laying around made, brought it up to 6000 yeah. Now, that doesn't include twelve hundred dollars in tires, two thousand dollars in batteries, and whatever the rest of the solar cost. That was before solar, right? Before I had cold beer, so you know, yeah, it was like there's there's certain things that are important in this world, and I thought you know that was one of them. Right, right of course. Well, man, can we see the inside of it? Sure, absolutely. which you found comforting is is actually based on the height of the doors. I in initially bought these, you know, uh, French doors at the ReStore. Right. And so I built the structure basically to fit the height of the door without having to lose anything. So the height up here, and it's a flat roof because at one point I was going to put a, I got a hatch over there, it was, and that's the skylight, where I was going to build a second floor and I was going to put my solar panels and have them pop up and you know and have a sleeping quarters upstairs that was when it was on a trailer and now i have sleeping quarters inside. It's actually so i had the trailer that i put this on originally but it was a rotten 1960s like canned ham thing I right took, i took that out of the trailer and i took the wheels off and i burnt the trailer off of it and i tell you what you want to see a fire <laughs> that was that was, a good cargo trailer that was something that. so then i had the flat bed and then I just built this on top of that. So, yeah. And then, I, and then this stuck right in here very nicely. I had to change this door out. But like I say, so this looks, this is the original 
ice box, but I was able to put a refrigerator in here uh, based on something that I was that I found at the restore. Well, based on it was something I found at the restore for 25 bucks. So it uses a lot of power, but love that it, store. It, it, yes, it, it's oh the restore. Yeah, I could go. I could. Well, let's go go down the list. That's from the restore. That's from the restore. <laughs> that's from the restore. Both of those doors on the outside are from the restore. The shower pan is from the restore. And oh, that's awesome! Just it, it, well, and well, and all that wainscoting. Now they call it beadboard because it's up here, but it was wainscoting when it was like, when I picked it up at the restore. That's, that's what's on the outside of our yeah. house. Is yeah, that. yeah, the whole thing. Now, and is it, this multifunctional? The couch? Well, actually, this is a this is a cedar chest that my great, oh. gr my great grandfather made for my grandmother. Oh, that's awesome. You get to bring so, it with you. So it's like 100 years old and it fit right over the wheel well. I got my inverter, my power supply, my batteries. And, that's and, awesome. And way more bike storage than any any man, well, any that I'll ever need. So the same way with this. These are old Barrister bookcases. This one doesn't have the window and I'm looking for a cool piece of metal or something to put over that. Right. The more bike gear a person doesn't need. And this that one over here that uh, you know works pretty works nicely for a storage, and then it can be locked down for travel. I just put the little, cute little latch on there. Did you lose this glass from traveling, or it just didn't? No, I one? think it was broke before that. I don't really remember. No, none of them broke. So this is that it's wavy a, glass. If you look at it, that's yeah. brittle old wavy glass. But I haven't had any trouble with it. No, I'm impressed. I'm sure. No, because over time, no, I'm sure that was cracked. If it was, it probably broken, and I just took it out. So what do you got back here? So. This is so. This is the this curtain rod will will slide over and back. So when it's over here, with one of the coolest hinges I've ever okay. seen. That's awesome. Good eye, man. Cause yeah. That, that's like a, one of those hinges that you would put on a on a. Yeah. I had that. So there's something else <laughs> I had. Hinge. Something else I had around for like. No, all your years. hardware is used too. And then, and yeah, an old bolt. I had long old bolts and a whole bunch of nuts. I mean, it was just like, what was I gonna do with? And you know, find, find out. So then I, I was able to put my closet on a, on a on sliding a slide. door track. So yeah. Just swing that out, and my towels come out on one of those under counter towel rack. I mean, yeah, you know, towel holder things, so I can have I mean, a nice open shower. I'm this looking, thing's massive. I'm looking at how I'm gonna build a. Uh, Composting toilet for you know for my maybe my that next is our project. next project maybe. as well. <laughs> yeah, right. It's no, a very nice luxury. There's a lot of designs, and I need something that'll stay dry. I mean that, that can deal with wetness, right? But that's so, a big wet room. Yeah, like, that's no, bigger than a lot of the buses. It's standard have. 32 by 32, and of course yeah. that shower pan came from the restore, yeah. which I'd bought actually years before. So it's not actually counted in the overall cost. Neither is the sink and a few other things that I'd bought. Same way with the shower head. And like I said, this is like gonna, was going to be the the climb through. So I was going to put stairs up the side of this door and I was going to have this big hatch with the solar panels to fold up and sleeping quarters up there. But, you know, didn't need to do that once I found this, so found this thing and built this part. And it's more got stick framing in it because you got plywood down here and you got a, a structure up here. With yeah. Dubai, so, you had, so I had to build sticks in. I couldn't just use sheets of styrofoam. For do that. you like that window up there? That's yeah. Kelsey's favorite part of our house is that window. Oh, you got one of these too? Oh, it's much bigger. But... Yes. Uh, yes. I need to take that out for visual effect then. Right? I haven't prepared. No, this was so that was given to me. And so in and really in laying out the, the uh you know the space I didn't realize how neatly the, the twenty two degree angle, twenty two and a half would fit. You know, the fact that I wanted to cut these off at twenty two and that section is twice as big as those sections, so it's kinda of got the same and yeah. from the outside people have said well, one people. One person, one people had said it looks like a hot tub sitting up there on top of it. You know, I get it. Got that beadboard, which is if you got the same design. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get down there and see yours. And I just used a little Wave Three heater, and I sit it actually up on this chair at night. Do you notice any moisture coming from that in here? I I don't use. It. I mean, maybe if it was cold out, I probably would notice. I don't run it that. I mean, I run right. it a lot. I run it every morning. I just I just don't don't see any reason to be chilled at all, right? And so of course. This, oh, you can go right into the cab. So this is, and and then this thing neatly folds up here when I'm preparing myself to be shown. I can fold that up, and it looks like my bed has been made. And I can. Oh, feel, nice. I thought I'd roll the windows down. I can feel the heat rolling out of there now. In the in the winter time, I can feel the cold running out of there. You have Swing all the up stock. under. Can you see underneath here with your camera? 
I was talking. We about, can. I was talking about this Murphy bed. So yeah. This was the front of the fold down front of a Murphy bed, huh. and, I, and it was something we were practically going to throw away because I had no place to put it, no way to use it at the time. Yeah. But I ended up using pieces of it everywhere. I mean, boards. That's a piece of Murphy. That's this thing. This. I like the the captain's chair too. Yeah. That's not, was that? No, that was in the rig. That was here. That was. <laughs> they had ripped everything out of it. It was a party van. They had four chairs uh, in the back when it was an RV. They drove it to football games. That's why it's only got 68,000 miles on it. It's because it for, 20, 68, for, miles? for 20 years, they drove it back and forth to football games. So you can just guess the out of No, it's all the, the old school gauges and everything. Yeah. It's well, gorgeous. Actually, the gauges, I had to replace all of the the fuel gas. I mean, all those quit working. Okay. When I drove out here, I did the gas gauge didn't work. The other two did. But the gas gauge wasn't working, and the first time I tried to fill it up, I had this giant hole in the gas tank. So I'd fill it up, and this gas comes pouring out on the ground. And I'm, I'm stuck at that point going, geez, you know, I, I don't, so I don't know how many miles to a gallon I get. I don't know how much gas is in the tank. I don't have a gas gauge to know how much I can put in before it starts running out on the ground. That's so an adventurous life. It was an, it was an interesting <laughs> drive out. <laughs> Just got to stop every couple hundred miles, I well, guess. That's right. And, but then I still didn't know how much to put in. I was estimating at eight miles a gallon which is pretty close to what I get so but I didn't want to I mean gradually it could have been working its way down and I wouldn't know till I fill it up to the point where it overflows at some point down the line right <laughs> and I had I did have two five gallon cans of gasoline and I did use one of them at one point so really yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't had that experience yet is all of your lighting LED Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's all add-ons. I mean, you know, I built it. I didn't do very good job with the electricity, really, because originally I, I, I only had this little <laughs> thing here. But but partly, you just it's hard to run wires in these walls. So actually, when I was putting in these floors, I channeled out into the styrofoam. So I ran my wires underneath the floor. And actually, when I cut this wall down, I cut right through my wires oh, here. I see what that's you why did. this little box. And that's what this little box is. You'd never notice, but it's just the cutest. It, it, I didn't know what else to do with these. Yeah, can I open that thing? So I got. My oh, it's a junction box. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, I, I couldn't get it back outside. You know when yeah. I and when I built the box, I was then I thought, well, shit, how am I going to deal with these wires laying here? So that's what I ended up. Great. With. <laughs> I know. This is incredible. <laughs> that's the plan. I anyway. just want to say this is beautifully done. Well, thank you very I much. I really enjoy these these um just totally handmade rigs it, it, and like you we, and you should since doing one yourself and you don't see a lot of them out there really no. and did I you see that gooseneck that came by too, yeah so he had actually reskinned that that was a regular uh, that was a regular gooseneck he had put poly iso on the outside the aluminum restored some of the wood and then the aluminum was stuck to it he and i chatted he had a really good homemade uh, lithium battery system i was i was really impressed with okay. so much of the stuff that i've seen out here i'm completely out of my league and this was my little part and yeah so this says classic fairy tales it happens that it was an old plate rail one, <laughs> one more of many things and it fit perfectly in the frame this was oh, a yeah. total afterthought and it's like okay i'll accept that <laughs> well i just want to thank you for taking time out of your day and showing shane, us this i shane i appreciate you coming over and i will i am definitely going to come see yours and it Please may be do. sooner rather than later so because later when labor may never come right you right. guys are, we should be leaving tomorrow if we have to right Maybe. as i tell everyone i hope i hope someone watching this video and seeing this it makes them want to do something. I hope so too. And actually, I, I was trying to do a little bit of build, build photos. And maybe I, I can send you the Google link to those, but they won't make any sense to you probably. I've always thought I ought to try to do a voiceover of, of some of those and explain how they're done. I hope you do, by because shot. if yeah. I would have found that video, I would have obsessed over it. So. <laughs> well, I have a friend. Who, I have a friend who can help me, and actually, Tim Untethered is uh, is do, done some video work, and he might be able to help me do the same kind of a yeah. thing. So, I, you know, we might not ever be popular from this stuff, but <laughs> if if it, it helps one person do something that they really want to do, like I feel like all of it was worth it. That's right. And what I have said too just was that. I, it was worth it for me, but I'm not recommending it. <laughs> <It's> just, right. <laughs> be bold. This well, is going to no, be an investment if, of yeah, your life. If you want to really do it, but I've seen so many buses and so many RVs, so many things that are just easier, quicker, but you know, you, not you're, just, cool. no, you're just driving down the road, <laughs> then, right? <laughs> well, thank you. All right. Very Jane, much. Thank you very much. I'm going to give you a left-handed shake. Yeah. Have a good day now. <laughs>